Welcome, everyone. Welcome. I present to you the mayor of the city and county of San Francisco, Mr. Edwin M. Lee. Thank you, Theo. Oh, everybody, welcome to the People's Palace, our city hall. Kids, how are you doing? All right. Junior 49ers are in the house. Yes. Well, I'm really glad you're here. And I know when young people are here, they don't want to hear long speeches. They want action, right? So we're going to get some action here, even though it's signing a pen. But I want to say thank you to uh, Board President London Breed, who's uh, been working really closely with me on this legislation, along with uh, uh, Board Member Aaron Peskin from District 3, Asha Safaye from District 11 as well, thank you very much. And Malia Cohn is also on her way and she'll be here in a minute. And of course, I need the Board of Supervisors because what I'm signing is legislation. That's what they do, they do good on legislation. And we do better when we work together. And you know, Patrero Terrace and Annex and Sunnydale, you allowed us as a city to work together with you. So the most important people here are the residents of Potrero and Sunnydale. Thank you for being here. I, I, I get to say this that, uh, you know, as uh, someone who started out in public housing, this is personal to me that uh, I pay attention to those that are living in housing to never allow you to fear uh, in your living, to live in fear, to live in isolation. We've had many, many discussions at City Hall about how to do better and do justice by our most low-income residents and in communities that often uh, have been labeled as being isolated and not paid attention to. Well, we're changing all of that. We have, we have been changing it for quite some time, particularly with uh, this uh, Board of Supervisors and particularly with uh, uh, President Breed and. Uh, also with Malia Cohen that they work side to side with me along with the entire board, along with our philanthropic community that's part of our Hope SF, our justice community. Uh, I know Alan Nance is here, Juvie Justice. I see Reckon Park is here. I see Southeast Center is here. I see our uh, chief of police, Bill Scott, you're here. Our school district's here and Hydra and all the others. They're all working together under this large umbrella called Hope SF. Uh, Hope SF, yes, that's exactly what it is, kids. Does everybody say Hope SF? Hope. Uh, yeah. Well, that's a word that we truly believe in, because if people don't have hope, then all they got is misery. And I think we have put that hope in that term, Hope SF, with all of our collaborative partners, uh, those that are in the funding streams, working in banks, working in the private sector of housing, like Mercy Related and Bridge Housing, those are entities that we help establish a presence among uh, Petrero, the Annex, and Sunnydale in order to rehabilitate every unit of housing in that neighborhood, in our neighborhoods. And why are we doing this? Well, one, it's because Everybody who lives in San Francisco should be San Franciscans. They should never be referred to as residents of public housing. Everyone is a San Francisco resident. And when we're here in San Francisco with our equity calls, with our calls that people be treated equally, good housing should be at the basis of this. And that's why having uh, worked with the Housing Authority, but particularly with HUD, uh, making sure that we're changing the entire way we manage these projects, these developments, the housing that you live in. I, I got to a point where I got really excited. People weren't talking about broken glass and uh, water systems that didn't work. They were talking about how many bedrooms am I going to live in? How many kids? Is, are we going to have open space for our kids? We're going to have the playgrounds that we wanted. It's a new conversation when you're talking about the housing needs of all of our residents. And so I'm very proud of all the residents coming together with our collaborative partners uh, as part of Hope SF, the entire board of directors. I want to say thank you for
persevering in everything that you've been doing because these dreams were actually thought of maybe over 10, 15 years ago. And yet people stuck by this dream so that these kids can have hope. How many of you want a brand new bedroom to stay in? Yeah, yeah, with all the trophies that you're going to be winning? Yeah, you need some more room. <laughs> so uh, as I promised, less speeches, let's get to action. More importantly, let's get to the building of this new housing so you have a place that you can call home forever. This is San Francisco, and we do what's right by all of our residents. So with that, uh, President Breed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Well, I'm really excited to be here today. Some of you know that I grew up in Plaza East. How many people know where Plaza East is? How many people know what OC is? I grew up in OC, over 20 years, born and raised on Eddie and Laguna, through some difficult times, through the drama, the violence, the hopelessness, the despair, and wondering, why doesn't my community have more opportunities? Why do we not have better playgrounds? Why are we being left out in the wealth of our city, everything that's going on around us? And that's the reason why I ran for the Board of Supervisors because I wanted to see a difference. And when I became a member of the board, I made it clear to the mayor and my colleagues, what were my three top priorities, Mr. Mayor? Housing, housing, housing and mo housing. Exactly. <laughs> but most important, rehabilitation. The conditions that existed in Plaza East when I grew up there, no showers busted pipes, had to use other people's bathrooms on a regular basis. Laundry mat was always messed up. Why? Why in a wealthy city like San Francisco will we still allow that to continue to happen? And that's why this historic day, this historic legislation that we were able to pass with my colleagues that are here today, with Supervisor Cohen leading that effort, and Supervisor Peskin and Supervisor Safai on board, that legislation is going to make a better community. It's going to change lives. And I'm really excited about the future of San Francisco because we are finally doing what we should have done years before, even when I was growing up there. Pay attention to what's going on in our communities and make sure that everyone can live in this city in dignity. Thank you all so much for being here. I'm really excited about this. And let's get hope on the map for every San Franciscan. Thanks. And now, the Supervisor of District 10, Supervisor Malia Cohen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good, good afternoon, everyone. How are you? This is an exciting time. You guys need to liven up. This is monumental. You have no idea how long it's taken. Well, actually, maybe some of you do know how long it is, right? <laughs> the Resident Tennis Association, they're like, yeah. This is incredible. This is life changing. This is exactly why I feel like I was put in, into elected office to serve. And this has been an incredible journey. I've been on the board, this is my seventh year, and I want to thank Mayor Lee, because he's been with us every step of the way and, and has been talking that talk. And there are also our congressional delegation, Pelosi's been a champion getting those federal dollars to reach right here on the shores of San Francisco. That's how we got Hunter's View built. And I'm sure you probably already recognize the housing dream team, Olson. Olsen Lee, Barbara Smith, Barbara Smith. I want to recognize Theo Miller. Many of you probably already know Theo, incredible champion. Theo has been that inside guy that has been silently in the mayor's ear pushing him every step of the way and encouraging him. And then, you know, we have a whole host of, um, of community uh, nonprofit organizations, our partners. I want to recognize Mercy Bridge and Related who are helping us transform all of this. Thank you very much. And to the Housing Authority Commissioners, I'm grateful for all your time and commitment. Um, when times were, t t when times were tough. And most importantly, I want to recognize the residents that have been living in public housing for generations that have endured the roaches and the rats and now are going to be able to reap the riches. This is our gift to you. 
I got that from a, a trip to HUD once. A HUD exe executive said, we, we have people have suffered through the roaches and the rats, and now it's time for them to reap the riches. And that is exactly what today is about, standing tall and standing strong. So it feels good to stand up here. We got the junior 49ers right here. Thank you for being a part of this. Uh, we got a ton of resident leaders that I'm, I'm looking out. I see the Jackson family is here. Thank you, Larry. Everyone that, is, that has been at the uh, forefront when, uh, prior to, to my uh, election on the Board of Supervisors. Now, there is one woman that has been leading the charge, keeping everybody honest from the beginning of time. And this is Mother Ruth Jackson. I don't see her, where is she? She's gonna be speaking. It's the next voice that you're gonna hear. This woman is an incredible, fearless leader, feeds the homeless, takes care of the kids, bringing pride into the Southeast neighborhoods, raising a family, raising grandkids. I mean, this is a small business owner. This is a, this is a model San Franciscan right here. Please put your hands together and re welcome Mother Jackson. I would like to thank everybody for coming today. And my name is Ruth Jackson. I've lived in the Visitation Valley, Sunnydale, for over 50 years. I've ran a family daycare for over 30. I've had generations and generations of children. And I want you to know I love my neighborhood. I've had people to call me at night and say, Miss Jackson, my water is great coming out of the pipes and I would have to get on the phone and call somebody. So I want you to know that we have been fighting and struggling for this a long time. And I don't want to add too much long on there, <laughs> but we are so happy today. And I want to thank the mayor and Malia and all the people that have worked hard to help service our community. And this way, we give our families and children hope. Because where there is no hope, there is no life. That's right. And most of our young people in our area, they don't feel that they're going to live to get through high school. So today, this gives us hope. And we want everybody just like you are today, we want to join hands and make sure this work for all of our families in our neighborhood. Because I'm going to be around to see it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Jackson. Now we shall get to action, Mr. Mayor. There's pizza in room 201 immediately following. Let's let the young people and the elders eat first. Thank you. Yes, everybody, the beginning of Black History Month. Yes, we nailed it. We nailed it, huh? Yeah. Let's start building, everybody. All right. All right. 